Well, hello again everyone and welcome to another tutorial in my How to Draw Iconic Faces series. Well, we start of course, if you could subscribe that would be great, thank you. And also remember, hit the little bell icon. Okay, well the iconic face today is of JFK, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States of America, cruelly assassinated in 1963 in Dallas. Okay, so I'm going to draw his face at a slight angle. Um, so to get the angle, you just come off the straight slightly like this and draw a rough guideline. Then halfway along that, you draw that at right angles, but of course that's at an angle like that. The eyes will be on that line there. Okay, now the shape of his face, shape of his head rather, is like an elongated curved rectangle. So there's a curve at the top of the head coming down to almost straight sides like that, and then coming down to straightish bottom line there for the chin, and then curving up like that. Okay, so you get that almost oval shape, but I can't say I can't. it's a rectangle with curves at the sides. Okay, so there we have the basic shape. Now, begin with the eyes. Start about, come in from the nose line. So then in the width of an eye, start about here. Um, JFK's eyes are fairly deep set. So if you come up at an angle like that and um, back down again, so there's a quite a deep curve there. And then the angle of the bottom of his eye, almost following that line there, comes in a fairly slight curve like that and you get the deep set eyelid just above that and another line there like that and the people of his eye coming in and the center is getting up kind of that way and the center of the iris there like that the other one starts as i say here come up again and that's a fairly sharp curve up but then it kind of slopes off a bit more easily like that and then the bottom line fairly straight but a slight curve fairly straight coming up like that and then of course you have the deep set line here of his eyelid and again people of the eye coming in like that with the eye in the center there okay and just above here, we have the start of the eyebrow. Um, we have a kind of furrow of the brow here, you know, and coming down almost parallel with that, going up and then curving over like that. Broader at the tip here and then tearing away there. The same with this side. Get that curve coming down and then tearing off like that. Okay, and from these furrows if you like on his brow, you get the beginnings of the nose coming down from here. Two lines there. And a fairly short nose um, comes down to about there. Okay, there's the, the tip and that curve there. And then on the other side of course the, the north, very small nostrils. And you can actually see them. It's got almost a slightly up tilted nose on there as well. And then the side a nostril coming in there and the front of the nose coming down to kind of curve there and get that line coming around the back of the nostril there and then the other line on the side of that nostril there and you get a slight line out of the cheek the face is quite full actually below that of course you get the curve of the little indentation top lip and his mouth is very full you get again the angle here start with that v-shape like that, quite a deep v-shape and then curving down like that, a very, very like a bow shape coming down there and then the center fairly full top lip this line comes up and follows that kind of indentation but not as not as deeply just a curve like that you see and then it comes off like that you get a slight muscular indentation here and then again a full bottom lip starting from there 
coming up there and the chin is very rounded so you get this curve just below the bottom lip there down to about there which is the bottom of the chin like that and as I said because the face is quite full you know you get an extra wee bit coming down here which comes around the jawline up like almost straight and then curves quickly up the side of his face there okay right above that of course above the uh, the eyebrows and the forehead we have the, the famous hairstyle which is kind of swept to one side so you get this uh, starting above the corner here coming down and then sweeping over like that so this is all kind of combed across and it stops about here so you get this uh, wave coming across like that and then another one starts about here and that curves up and over and you get the ends of it appearing just at the top of his head here so that kind of comes up like that and there's parting here so all of the hair on this side is being combed up that way right and that kind of ends up with all these slight ends sticking up all over the top of that shape of the curve of the top of the head that I did earlier okay and this curve carries on down then you have the side of his hair coming in like that towards the forehead and then coming back down behind his ear there and all these lines of course follow the way that he is combed and his ears again fairly tight against his head they come up at an angle there and straight down and then in and then this side here this is combed down the way and again it comes in slightly and then out down towards the ear all these lines the, where the hair has been combed and you follow a line across here this is where the top of this ear begins about here slightly more sticking out in this one curves back into the side of the head with the lines and the internal lines of the, the ear there and the uh, neck because you're looking to the side you get this uh, angle of the neck coming down from here and this neck slightly bulging over his collar here and again the collar comes down in a big V shape down to it here and this jacket will appear like that and on this side the jacket appears in here the shoulder sloping down and collar of the jacket appears the lapels rather and there continuing this over his shoulder there and his collar and tie a knot of his tie appears in here like that okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work a bit on the actual uh, shading of the face a bit, a bit more detail in for instance you know around the bottom of the eyes here we have as in the deep set part of the bottom of the eye almost like a pouch there we've got these lines coming around very wrinkled laugh lines whatever coming around the side same with this and here's a deep set line and you get these lines coming around there and uh, the lines mostly coming in from up here down that way so you'll get this shading around about his under his cheekbones and so on so you get this I'm just going to indicate it so you get this uh, bit of shading coming down here right down to a bit there and this bit is, is shaded all right and there's another bit of light shading here and then underneath this uh, part of the cheekbone on this side all this is shaded as well okay so I'm going to uh, what I want to do is actually work on this a bit more put a bit more detail in for instance on the top of the eyelid here you know put a bit more weight on and start to just pick this out, you know, and make that nice and dark. Come around there. And the bottom, not as heavy, a lighter line there like that. And just pick out the pupil. And the center of the pupil, the iris there, comes in. And you get a highlight. So you draw a shape like that for the highlight. Shade the iris in nice and black. Leave the highlight white and then shade in the rest 
very lightly like that, see it looks quite realistic. Okay, and work on that. And there's a bit of shading coming down here, of course, down the side of his nose, round here. So that will be shaded in there. Okay, so I'm going to work on this eye now in the same way I've worked on this eye. And uh, let's see what that looks like when I've done it. Okay, as you can see, I have shaded in this side round his eyes, including his eyebrow there. Do the same here. Get that, that deep cleft coming in here, curving up. Now when you shade, you can either shade by using circular motion with a pencil like that, or if you want to make it a little bit more sketchy, you can use these sketchy lines like that. Okay, and of course in here we'll be shaded just like that, coming down the side of the nose. So you get that fairly deep line coming in here, and it'll be shaded up to about there. And again, fairly straight nose, and you get a little bit of shading down each side of the nose here, down to the tip itself, which we put in like that. And a bit of light reflected up underneath the nose there, so you get this little bit of lightness there. Then you get the underside of his nose coming in here, and the nostril, nice and black. And on this side as well, and you get the side of the nostril coming down fairly heavily, coming down underneath and around this side as well. And quite a heavy bit of shading because I said the light's coming in this way, so most of the shadow is on this side of the nose, so a bit a bit more shading in here, like that. Okay, and a bit of line coming down there, a little bit of shading there, and then the little indentation, just indicate it like that. Then you want to move on to the mouth, a nice heavy line for the centre, curving up and come down to the corner of the mouth there, carving around here like that. And the top line, not as heavy, but going up to that point again. And then this part here, just where it meets the, uh, where the lips meet rather, nice and heavy. And then fade it out to a lighter tone to the top of the lip there. And there's a bit of a kind of muscle shade in here and here too. And the bottom lip, again, quite full, coming up like that. Just a little bit of shading under it there, like that. And below that we have, I said, that curve, but there's a kind of deep bit of shading in here. So, see that bit of a, it's almost like a small rectangle underneath his lip there, okay? And of course the shading carries on on this side of his mouth, and it kind of goes around his chin here. And there's the bottom part that you see there. And again, you'll get a bit of shading just on that bit of his chin. And then as a bit of reflected light, and then underneath the actual shape of his face coming in there. And coming up towards his ears. Same there, okay? Um, Bring this in a bit, I've made this a wee bit too broad, so I'll bring this in a bit here and down to his jawline there. I think he's ear in there like that, that's better. Uh, before I start shading in here, well, just before I do that, nice big deep bit of shading in here, I'll just draw the shape in. And that'll come around the edge around his arms, Adam's apple there, so this is quite dark, which so I'll shade in a second. And the same with this, I'll start to do that too. Let's go up to the hair. For a second. Just get this uh, nice line coming down here, and as it curves around, there's a bit of uh, dark shading in here. This is all quite dark. And again, you use your pencil to suggest the way that the hair is or has been combed, like that. And of course, because you're going to get a light catching part of it, uh, as it curves away from the light, you get these lines here. Light will catch this bit, and then, so you leave that bit light, and you carry on with your lines coming up, like that. Okay, and the same bit here, there's a bit of darkness in there. 
and it comes over like that and then it starts to go that way. So we'll just work on that, you know, assuming the light's coming from here, so these, these bits here will be slightly darker, a bit more shading in there, and so on down to the parting, okay? That comes out like that, and just follow these lines down side of this face here, like that, and I'll work on that, I'll go back up and work on that a bit more in a second. Now back down here again, we uh, shade in this nice dark shade under his chin and again it's, it's shaded around here and you know, Adam's apple shape coming in here and a line for his uh, collar put that in on his neck the shirt the left white the actual tie is consists of little squares, but you do little parallel lines like that and then go in, do them across the way like that together and what you do is you shade in the wee space in between and you get a nice quality for that part on, on his tie like that, okay? You do the same with it down there like that and so on Right, uh, his jacket, again just outline that line there and then down to this collar and then this, uh, well, this collar will appear in there. And basically, you just shade this in like that. Okay, we'll do that in a second. So let's move back up here and do a bit more work in this. And I'll see what it looks like when I've done that. Okay, I've been working on the shading a bit more, as you can see. I'm filling in the shadows run under his cheekbones here. Just to finish off this one here. Again, using kind of sketchy lines to indicate the... The shading, maybe if you want to do it, uh, you can either do it a bit heavily or you can cross hatch like that to make your line that bit more dark. Okay, bring your lines down here around the chin like that. Okay, makes it look a bit more lively when you shade like that. Okay, um, as you can see, I've actually dropped this. Uh, see that faint line there? This is actually. Um, the fact I had that shoulder too high, so I dropped it down slightly to, to there, like that. You can always adjust as you're drawing. Okay, so I think that's uh, looking not too bad. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of JFK, and I hope you can join me again for another tutorial very soon. But in the meantime, of course, all the best, and happy drawing.